everyone, I'm Moral Ranello, and Frank Shamrock is here beside me as we get set for tonight's main event. Let's compare these two fighters with the tail of the tape. Let's throw it to Ladies Jimmy Ladies and Jr. gentlemen, it's showtime. We thank you for joining us at the HP Pavilion. This fight is scheduled three rounds in the heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. With a background in jiu-jitsu, fighting out of Brazil, Fabricio Verdun. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, with a background in the Russian art of Sambo, fighting out of Russia, the last emperor, Fedor Emelianenko. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's get it on! We begin this fight. Fabrizio Verdum shocked the world in their first matchup by forcing Fyodor Emelianenko to tap out via a triangle choke in just 69 seconds. Will history repeat itself? The last emperor said he made a mistake the first time around. He says he has shored up those tactical errors and he's ready to avenge his first legitimate defeat. They now create separation. Emelianenko really loves to mix things up, but he's at his most dangerous thanks to his Sambo background. And Sambo's a beautiful ground control art. Look for him to go for submissions on the legs and the arms. He moves quickly to slip the punch. Oh, and he just ate a big right hand. We are now seeing four minutes on the clock. Their dude takes him down to the canvas. What a beautiful double leg takedown. Oh, he just avoided that punch. Very quick on his feet. Emelianenko with a nice hook. Oh, he lands that roundhouse beautifully to the body. Three minutes remain in the round. They come together in the Greco-Roman clinch and he's able to get the double underhooks. Oh, he is really feeding him a steady diet of knees and pull. Verdun picks him up and slams him down. Verdun pops him with a hammer fist looking to pound him. It's a preferred position of schoolyard bullies everywhere. He's got the mount and the space to drop some. Excuse me, correction. He's now in tight. Oh, wait. He's actually been able to separate himself, and he'll look to dish out the punishment. Oh, he just nailed him with that hammer fist. He's got the mount, but he's unable to create the necessary distance. Wow, that's a beautiful thing. A superlative sweep. He transitions into half guard. 
That was a great looking knee to the body. He is now working from the position known as the rubber guard. He works to side control. He's got the mount. This could be dangerous. Oh, he nails him in the noggin with that right hand. Their doom lands a beautiful looking body shot. He drops it with a double leg take tip. He moves him into the relative safety of his closed guard. Oh, what a reversal here as he now finds himself in top position. He works to side control. He's able to move to full mount. Wow, nice transition. He has the back, and this is where this fight could end. Oh, what a confidence builder. When you have someone's back and you're looking at their neck, you're right next to victory. Oh, he nails him in the noggin with that right hand. He does a superlative job of slipping that strike. That's why trainers are always emphasizing movement. You can avoid a lot of damage. He continues to dish out the good old-fashioned ground and pound, and he is really giving him a beating. <laughs> Round one is officially in the books. All right, let's take a look at some replays from the recent action. This fight is uncomfortably close. You need to put some distance between you and him. Okay, I'm not sure we won that round. And if I ain't sure, that means the judges ain't got a clue either. You need to start dominating this fight. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's get it on! Hey, don't ask me to score the last round because that was just too close. Well, I agree with you. It looks close to me too, but you just can't tell what the judges saw in that round. Their doom secures the double leg and takes him down. He lands that left hand. He wraps his legs around his opponent's body in what is known as a closed guard. Wow, that was lightning quick. What a reversal. He's got him in the closed guard now and looking to minimize any damage. Patience is a virtue and he was able to beautifully done as he moves into full mount. Oh, I don't think his opponent was expecting that one. That oh, nice technique there as he's able to move from side control into full mount. Oh, the action just changed. His head's down now. Oh, wait, he's actually been able to separate himself and he'll look to dish out the punishment. He's in the mount position, but his opponent is doing a great job of controlling his posture. Oh, I don't think his opponent was expecting that one. That reversal looked almost too easy. Verdun lands a shot to the head. Here we see him stacked up in the guard now. He's working from the guard and he stacks him up. That's a great position to be in if you're the top guy. If you're the bottom guy, you gotta break him down or get ready to move your head. He throws a nice right kick. Oh, this is takedown defense 108. Oh, and he connects! He connects with the knockout shot! What a fight! Here we go with 
with a collection of reflexes. Oh!